Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with pick your team uh, seven, number seven for 2021 uh, Panini Prism Basketball. Three box, pick your team number seven. Big thanks to everybody right here. All cards ship in the pick your teams, by the way. In the random teams, no vet commons ship, so just keep that in mind. All in the description, pretty clear there. All right, so now, remember we marked all of these PYT so we know they're all from the same case. So let's roll the die. Let's select a die. I like that flamingo die right here. Let's roll it and see which side we're going to do. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. You can see all the box on the top camera as well. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this will save for break number eight, which is already on the site. And pick your team eight. Is only six teams left, no filler or anything like that. And I'm pretty sure all the big teams are taken in Pick Your Team 8. So I would just, let's just finish off this break straight up. All right? Let's just finish off straight up. Not have to deal with a, with a pesky uh, filler. I think filling, uh, filling six slightly expensive spots is probably easier than filling 30 sort of cheaper spots in a filler. All right, on ESPN, we've got uh, Bucks here in LA. The Milwaukee Bucks playing my Lakers. Andre Drummond's debut. A little rusty. You can tell that he sat out a little bit. Jay is here. He's got the Charlotte Hornets. He's saying, let's cap off the night with a train whistle, LaMelo. Ooh. That would be, that would be crazy. You know, this year, if you look at CardboardConnection.com, there are a lot more train whistle opportunities because they've got black gold to five and green shimmer to five. Then they have black one of one and black shimmer one of one. So at least for the out of fives, there's slightly more opportunities to try to get an out of five or under. All right, good luck everybody. So let's actually set some of these aside right here. So in the picker teams, all cards ship. And there's a specific group of rookies that'll get that'll get sleeved and top loaded before they're shipped out. So I'll try to grab all those, as much of those as possible, but if I, in case I miss any, we'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely uh, catch it or the shipping team will catch it. There's a Kongu, red. That's for Matthew Shearer and the Hawks. 142 out of 299. Here's second year Zion. These second year Zions will do okay too. Especially if they're parallels, Mark. Mark the set with those. There's fireworks. Joel Embiid. In fact, folks, a lot of these will probably surprise you how well they might do on a secondary market. for the Especially for the bigger names. Giannis, LeBron, so on and so forth. No, Andre Drummond. No. What's he doing? We just got you. Oh. Zion Williamson Silver. This is nice. Andre Drummond walking off with the seemingly big toe injury is not nice. There's Zion. Silver Zion, Mark. In the old school prison design. Take a look at that. Look at that up. That could be that could be a huge one right there. Yeah, it looks like he's done for the night. Nice, Anthony Edwards. You just got Andre Drummond. All right, here's Anthony Edwards, TD Williams, with the number one overall pick. There you go, TD. 
I don't collect anything, Jay. I just collect happy responses in the chat from people who hit big. That's what I collect. There's Andre Drummond who just walked off. It's like, like a toe issue. Come on, Andre. This is Cavs edition going to 199. I'll go to Sean Maddock. This is a second year John Morant. And the Kira Lewis Jr. Hyper for the Pelicans. Mark with that one too. And we got Nico Mannion. Rookie autograph for the Golden State Warriors. Yuji with the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. Jaden McDaniels, LaMarcus Aldridge, and we got Kemba Walker to 175 and another Zion. So this is the non-silver Zion. Silver Zion could go for a lot. There's Kemba for Chuck to 175. They got close tonight, Chuck. They got close tonight, but it was a little too little too late. Here's Andre Drummond again, red wave. He just walked off the court, hobbling. Might be a big toe issue, hopefully nothing serious. But man, the injury bug for the Lakers. Pretty rough. There's Kyrie Silver, Luka Doncic Fireworks Silver. Patrick William going to the Bulls, Adam Kelly. Chuck says the C's suck. There's Tyrese. I thought they were going to be more aggressive in the trade market, Chuck. You're a Celtics guy, right? I thought they were going to be more aggressive in the trade market, but it just didn't seem to happen. Here's Chris McKeague, Portland. CJ McCollum to 60. And there's our first Tyrese Halliburton for Chuck and the Kings. Try to find some color for that as well, some parallels. And there's our first LaMelo ball. There you go. Kim Jae-hoon with that one. There you go. All these will add up. Now you guys are holding out for Carl Anthony Towns. That would be a good addition to the team. There's Kevin Knox and Daniel Otoru for Mark and the Clippers. All right, and there's Kevin Knox for the Knicks. George with the Knicks. Knicks might make the playoffs. All right, here's the next box right here. Box two of three here in Pick Your Team 7. Sean, what's going on? Panini's <laughs> ruined the hobby. 2000, yeah, these are expensive. I get it. And that's why that's why group breaks. Or that's why group breaks exist. And also products like Revolution. And, you know. LeBron James. Is a good thing too. That's that's what three hundred dollars right here. But hey, group breaks help split up the price. That's nice. In the end, it's whatever someone's willing to pay, and as long as people are willing to pay two thousand dollars a box, I think it's going to be 
Yeah, exactly. Right, Chuck? Group breaks are fun. That's It helps kind of balance out the price. You know, and it's a, it's a community activity. That makes it fun, too. But it's what we say in the hobby. It's all about whatever someone's willing to pay. And as long as people are paying it, they're going to keep making it like that. There's John Morant. Out of 299, Magic Johnson, Precious Achua, auto, rookie autograph. But I don't know. Seven years ago, when we started breaking, people thought boxes were expensive then, too, and that Panini was ruining the hobby. wonder what those people think now. At this point, they're probably just, their, their mind, their heads have exploded. There's Magic Johnson to 299. We'll just all have to adjust. 25, Daniel Tice. Work more hours, make more money. <laughs> Gas is more expensive too. I've, I've, we've managed to adjust to that. All right. Yeah, I, I mean you can't. We can't. At, for the manufacturer, they can't win. We can't win. I mean, people are buying the Lamellos. People are buying the Halliburtons. People are buying the second year Zions. The resale market has been pretty strong thus far. And frankly, it's not really about the autos anymore nowadays. Jigglypuff, it's, it's parallels now. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always always easy to blame the president, Josh. Any president of any era. It's one of those guys' fault. There's Lonnie Walker, purple ice to one seventy five. But I heard the same argument seven years ago when we were breaking this stuff, prison basketball. You know, they would be like, what? How many hundreds of dollars a box? Who's going to buy that? These are like dollar cards in there. You know, so that still hasn't stopped anybody. Still hasn't stopped anybody. I mean, I'm constantly surprised at how many people get together. You know, and then the same people might be unhappy when when it's sixty dollars a box and there's really nothing, and then there's like dollar cards in there. There's Theo Maladon and Dante DiVincenzo, so it's a hobby. No, no one has to buy it. Jalen Brown, Robert Williams. I hear you, Alexander. Yeah. No, there's no doubt that, that, that the boxes are expensive. You know, but it's hard to really kind of unpack. Yeah, see, Vanilla Grill is thinking maybe the value restarted a hobby that was dying. Maybe Panini saved the hobby. Maybe there wouldn't be a hobby to speak of and group breaks to speak of if if they weren't around. It's a kind of a double-edged sword, so... I don't know, it's tough. I mean, I think the group-breaking thing is nice because, yeah, you know, these expensive products can now be split up amongst our, our collecting community here at Jaspies, but it's a, it's a tricky situation. I don't think it's, it's as clear to say, do we want to go back to, like, $100 a box stuff? Then group-breaking probably wouldn't exist at that point. Hobby shop. This hobby shop here in Hermosa Beach wouldn't exist at this at that point. Yeah. 
So it's it's. I don't know. There could easily be a couple bad draft classes in these, and 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 everyone will get what they want. <laughs> Just bad boxes again. But as long as people, well, exactly. As long as people keep buying. As long as people keep buying, they'll keep producing. So, listen. If none of these are none of our breaks have sold out, I think we would. Uh, I think we would. We would not be in business very long, and the prices would change very quickly. Car companies will already have overproduced and saturated the market multiple brands. Yeah, but that's what happens every year. This is what people said in the fifties. Boss, the boss man here has been in. You know, Nick Jaspi's dad has been in the hobby since, you know, for since forever for decades. He was at the first national. I mean, he'll tell you every year they'd say the car companies are overproducing and oversaturating. They say that every year. The obituary for the hobby has been written every decade. In the fifties, they 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 threw they threw cases and cases of 1952 Mickey Mantle rookie tops cases into the bottom of the Hudson. Hobby's dead. It's not going to happen. In the 60s, yeah, it's not going to happen. 70s and 80s, oh, the hobby's dead. In the 90s, it's it, oh, it's dead. They've done it this time. You know, oh, here comes Panini. They're going to ruin the hobby. Yeah, the... Uh, I think the, the obituary for the hobby has been written many times and yet still here. But yeah, I mean, Josh X line's coming from the time of the day, time when you can buy 50 cent packs. You know, but yeah, like with a lot of collectibles, the secondary market has, has created a different, a different animal. I guess they try to balance it out with like retail packs and stuff like that. Which are near impossible to find, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, every, I mean, and just naturally everything gets more expensive. Back when you were buying 50 cent packs, how much, how much was a, how much was a car? You know, Vanilla Grill doesn't want to pay 30 grand for a Chevy Malibu. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Josh. I know, yeah. There's John Morant to 25. How many people under 20 or even under 30 buying into this? Well, Jigglypuff, we we have a we have a retail store here in California. We got kids coming in here every day. They're not buying boxes per se, but they are they are buying like retail packs and and whatnot. It's Jason Tatum. And a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? It's Cameron Johnson. So ever since we reopened our doors post-pandemic, there's another Lamello. There's been a steady flow of people. Yeah, Miguel. Lots of kids are buying. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's different in other other people's neighborhoods, but in our card shop, you know, and, and maybe we just got a good location. After all, business is about location, location, location. Jigglypuff, we we run a card shop. I run a card shop here. The number of kids in here that that come in every day, even without their parents. And buying packs, maybe not boxes. I agree with that. Maybe not boxes, but buying packs, we got dozens and dozens every day. But it's an economics. As long as people are continuing to buy these boxes at this price, once they stop doing that then then the prices will the market will readjust there's a blue Peyton Pritchard 
There you go, Chuck, to 199. And there's Tory Craig, Denver. Denver Nuggets, Adam Kelly. The unfortunate thing is everything in life is now expensive. <laughs> you know? We could go back to the days when we try to catch a ball on a string into a cup, right? We can go back to those days. <laughs> or we can buy $500 PlayStations. Unfortunately... <laughs> Everything is expensive these days. We can go and pay, you know, a quarter for a movie and a newsreel. So now we got, now movies are like 20 bucks a pop. I could buy a decent car for like $10,000. Maybe in the 90s, right? But now, like, a, well, how much is a well, how much is a Honda Civic? A standard Honda Civic cost in the 1990s versus now. There's Obi Toppin, Nick's George. But as we say in the hobby, what is it worth, right? It's worth whatever someone is willing to pay. That's the usual snarky comment, right? It's whatever someone's willing to pay. When someone's like, "Hey, what's my Brook Lopez purple ice worth, Carlos?" You know. It's whatever someone's willing to pay. These prison boxes, it's whatever someone will, someone's willing to pay. And as of now, people are willing to pay. Maybe there'll be a market correction at some point. Probably will be. But that's, you know, that's the sign of any healthy market. Things go up, things go down, things go back up again. Luka Doncic hyper. Dallas with that one. Silver Fireworks, Jason Tatum going to Chuck and the Celtics. But I think that's why group breakers, really like good group breakers like ourselves, and there's some others out there too in the world. That's why these group breaks have become even more important to find great prices here and try to get into, you know, get into something like this for a fraction of the price. So hopefully people will keep supporting jazbeescasebreaks.com and other great group breakers out there, you know, to help kind of balance out, out this shift in the hobby. So thanks everybody, we appreciate it. We can't, we wouldn't, I wouldn't exist without you. So thanks everybody. Now this redemption, I know there's a particular name that could be on this, but maybe it could be someone else. It's gonna be. There it is. That's who I was thinking of. Rookie Signatures LaMelo Ball. And there you have it. Jay Kim with the Charlotte Hornets picking up the Hornets straight up. Scared money don't make money. You're welcome. Scared money don't make money. There you go. And there you have it. Boys and girls, thank you again for your support. That was three box. Pick your team number seven, 2020, 2021, Prism Basketball. Thanks for joining. And I'll see you next time for the next break. I'm Joe. I'm out.